face-to-face with women, say you're at an event or something like that, and you're using your cock energy, so to speak. Yeah. So how do you maneuver with that? Once you have that energy, what do you do with it? Okay, so essentially, you know, like if you're talking to a girl, and what I've noticed is that the better you get at this, the more you tend to draw them to you, right? So especially like, let's say you're on a dance floor, which is one of my favorite places to go. Um, I'm really into dancing. So if you're on a dance floor and you're really flowing with that cock energy, you'll notice that girls will start to gravitate towards you, right? They won't approach you probably, but, you know, if a girl is, you know, I'd say within like three to six feet of you and she wasn't there 15 seconds earlier, she probably is feeling digging your energy and wants you to make an approach. So make an approach, you know, make it slow, make it smooth. Um, and just, you know, just trust your process and, and feel when you're, when you approach a girl, feel your sexual desire for her. Don't think, oh, what do I have to say to get this girl to like me? Feel like, ooh, I like this girl. She, she makes me feel like a sexual man. And I think a lot of guys get confused with that because in our modern day, right, we're, most guys are actually really good guys and we don't want to make girls feel uncomfortable. So we think, oh my God, if I approach a girl with sexual energy, that's going to be creepy, but it's actually the complete opposite, right? Because if you approach her, if you approach her, because why are you approaching her? You want to, you know, the potential to be intimate at some point with her, right? So if you approach her for that end, ultimate end goal of intimacy with your problem solving brain, that's what's actually creepy, right? And that's why, mm-hmm. then that's how you get friend zone too, because the girl will be like, wait, I thought you just wanted to talk to me. I thought you were just, you know, whatever. But when you approach with that sexual energy, she, she can accept that and be like, oh, you're a sexual man. You're approaching me for this reason. Okay. And then she can make the decision at that point. She can let you advance, you know, you can ask her to dance. And if she, if she's into it, she'll probably dance with you. If she's not into it, she'll let you know. And, and that's fine. You know, just got to let her be, there'll be another girl for sure. But it's not creepy to be sexual. It's creepy to be sexual with that head energy. So that's what, um, that's what I always try and teach guys to understand the difference between those two.